Level 1. So it's important that you know how I teach. This program in front of you has a lot of buttons. And when a student looks at this, it's a very big place that you can get lost in very quickly. So we break things up into levels. And the levels will take you to the next level. At the end of each level, you should have sufficient knowledge to be able to perform a small task. And usually I take those tasks and make something out of them. So let's look at that. Levels are everything that you learn. Tasks are to show that you know what you learned. And then the combination of tasks equal a product. Okay, So here's how you watch the videos. When you watch a video, watch a little bit of it, pause it, and do whatever I'm showing you. Do not watch the video in its totality and try to do the thing. That rarely works. Maybe on level one it works, but on level whatever it, it will not it will, it will start to not work. So, pause, do, play. And repeat that process over and over. Don't concentrate so much on the voice that's talking to you, but only the next action that occurs. Okay? And also pay close attention to the environment. If you get lost, pause the video and look around you at the buttons that are pushed. You know, the buttons that are actually on and off here, you can see that they are light gray. And if I click on this one, it's light gray. This one's light gray. So before you ask the question, always kind of look around in your environment. And treat the question as your last resort, because the best way to learn is to figure it out. By answering a question, you're almost giving up on the, que the answer. The more you struggle to find that answer, the harder it is for you to find it, the more you'll remember it. That's how you learn. The harder the conflict, the more you'll learn, the faster you'll learn. So, <laughs> to struggle is good. It's a, it's a basis of learning. So, there it is. Now move on to the next video where we can begin.